Hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm going to be painting my Inktober prompt for the potion bottle that I drew yesterday. And I already started a little bit on it. So this part around here, the shinyish part, that is this stuff, which is art masking fluid. This stuff is really super helpful when working with watercolor and gouache. And you know, you can use it with a bunch of other stuff too, I'm sure, but it basically keeps your paint where you want it to stay. So a lot of a lot of the time when I do watercolor, it tends to go outside of the lines. And if you don't want that to happen, just get yourself some liquid masking fluid. And when you use the liquid masking fluid, make sure you use a really cheap old paintbrush. Do not use your really good paintbrushes or your authentic sable brushes like these ones, the really super good awesome ones that work amazing. Don't use those ones because it'll ruin it really really quick and after you're done make sure you rinse um, your brush off really good also you have to let this stuff dry for like I don't know five or ten minutes until until you can go and start painting so there's a couple of techniques I have learned one is called grisaille grisaille basically means underpainting so before when I did my crystal, I did an underpainting of watercolor. Now you can see how the colors are really bright and pop. That is because that's gouache over watercolor. Watercolor um, doesn't really pop and have that bright of a color. So a lot of the times when I do, gu do gouache, I do grisaille underneath. Um, grisaille can also be used in acrylic and oil painting, which I'm going to be giving a try here soon. I'm so excited. I'm going to start painting with oil now that I have a bunch of oil paints, but I'm going to have to like go on YouTube and figure out how to do it because I've honestly never painted with oil. So anyways, I am going to now work on this mushroom over here. Since I can't eat them anymore, I might as well paint them. <laughs> And I'm listening to some classical music because that is what I listen to when I paint. I prefer to not listen to the radio because it's like poop music, you know what I mean? Just stuff that's meant to emotionally manipulate people and I'd rather be emotionally calm while I paint. It's really important to be in a good mood when you paint because if you are, you know, in a crap mood and you go and try to paint something, it's going to turn out probably not good chances chances are so make sure you're in a super good mood when you go to start a painting that you care about and I mixed red violet with pink so that gives me a nice like bright purple color for this mushroom have some color balance because I have the pink and purple crystal on the other side Yeah, I really like painting mushrooms. They're just cute. And potion bottles. I'm like trying to get my fill of Halloween art before Halloween's art. Halloween, ooh, sorry, is over and I have to start doing Christmas art. Kids Corner, and especially if you're a young person, I'd love, love, love to hear from you. So you can go to yourclassical.org slash kids corner. You can also give me a call at 833-3-CORNER. Well, another gentleman wrote about autumn in a ballet called The Seasons. His name was Alexander Glasanoff, and here is Autumn from that big board for the stage with the Minnesota Orchestra, led by Ada DeVart. And I always usually do two coats. 
with gouache so even though it looks uneven now the paint does it won't once I go back again with a second coat Yeah, this music is just a lot more like, I don't know, fun and relaxing and entertaining than C97, that's for sure. Probably should have masked off those dots on the mushroom, but too late now. Well, that's a nice color. That's going to look really good across from the crystal. Oh, well, geez. <clears throat> what am I doing? <laughs> I think I'll do the other one in this really cute mint green. Yeah, it's really good to make sure you clean out your brushes all the way so you don't go get purple in your green. I wish I had a sink like out here next to my art table. I'm gonna manifest a dream house where I can have like a s tiny little sink in the wherever my you know art table is, so I can just wash my brushes off instead of having to get up every time after every color. That's okay. I'd rather keep my brushes nice. Thank you. 
And then I could even take a different color and do like two-toned and make the mushroom look two-toned. So I'll take a color that's kind of similar but a little bit different. And go like this. So it's like a gradient. And then you just take the other green color and blend so there's not like a sharp line. And there. I don't know if you can see that, but it definitely is like two-toned. Well, I only have so much time to make a video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll make another one soon. Click like, share my video if you liked it, and thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy painting, peace and love. Mwah.